Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be making a DIY earthquake bar. The inspiration for this came from a recent Instagram post of a DIY earthquake bar. That post sparked a lot of conversation about the weight capacity and durability of a bar made from PVC pipe. I figured I gotta try this out for myself. I checked out a tutorial posted a couple years ago by Dylan K. Johnson. Then I made my supply list and headed to the hardware store. By the way, my video is short and sweet. If you're interested in more detailed information about this build, check out Dylan's video right there. The full list of tools and materials is located in the description of this video. As an added bonus, by purchasing from those links, you are helping to support this channel. Okay, let's get started. Safety first. Wear a dust mask. Wear eye protection. Wear hearing protection. DIY projects are awesome but being safe is even more awesome. The first step is to cut the PVC to size. I found that most bars are around 80 inches long, so that's what I did. I taped the two PVC pipes together and then cut them at the same time. This can be done with anything from a hand saw to a miter saw. After they're cut, simply insert the smaller PVC into the larger PVC. If you're planning on going super heavy, you can add a third PVC either on the inside or the outside of these two. For what I'm doing, two will definitely be enough. I use a little PVC cement before securing securing the caps on the ends. This needs to dry for about two hours before use. I'm coming into this project with absolutely no experience using an earthquake bar. I've seen them priced on the various websites between $200 and $300, but coming in at less than 20 bucks, this DIY is a great chance to try it before you go out and buy the real thing. Using my Ohio Power Bar as a guide, I mark where the knurling starts and wrap that spot with gaffer's tape. After waiting two hours for the PVC cement to dry, I take my earthquake bar for a test drive. I do okay with 20 pounds on there. Once I get up to 70 pounds, it's a lot harder to control. Got those stabilizer muscles working overtime. Now it's time to address the question I get more than anything else. What is the weight capacity? The original earthquake bar from Banbell has weight capacity listed as in excess of 300 pounds. That's pretty open-ended, so I decided to just test it with 300 pounds. I loaded these bumper plates up about an hour ago. I'm just gonna let them hang overnight and see how they're doing in the morning. <laughs> All right, current time, 6.45 a.m. These weights have been sitting on this bar since 2.30 in the afternoon yesterday. That is just over 16 hours of weight testing. I'd say with 300 pounds on here, this thing is fully capable. Something to note in my design is that I didn't add any couplings to keep the weights from sliding back and forth or to keep them in place. So far that hasn't been an issue. Even with the extreme bow going on, the weights, because of the bands, they're not going anywhere. They're not sliding, they're not moving. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is actually use the bar with some heavy weights and see how it holds up. As you can see, the PVC is actually pretty strong. I will admit, I got a little sketched out when we were getting up to like 170, 200 pounds, but it held like a champ. What do you think? Would you trust it? If you'd rather buy one, considering buying from my affiliate links in the description. That way, it's a win-win for both you and me. As always, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you later.